We are at the Rufong Night Market in Kaohsiung and we are ready to eat. Let's go! It's supposed to be the current largest and most popular night market in Kaohsiung so of course we had to come. We came pretty early, it's only 5 o'clock now so they're just setting up, there's still daylight out and it's not that hot so we're really excited. This night market so far is unlike any that I've been to. It is colorful, I'm loving these banners. There is like barely any space to walk through these aisles. There's very tight in here but the it smells, the colors, the banners, the oh I'm, I'm so so excited. This looks amazing and apparently this gets really really busy but right now it's really quiet so we kind of have the place to ourselves so we're doing a little walk around to scope out what we want to eat if we can find the things I researched. That's kind of fun you can see all of the vendors sort of starting up and getting their fryers going and nothing is really prepared yet but you can smell it. chicken. Yes. I did some research and everyone's like you've got to get this if you like chicken, fried chicken. There's always a line and because we're early there wasn't much of a line. We got that and then we were going around seeing what else we want. Because it's super hot. Because it's really hot. Yeah it's like scalding. And then we we're walking by this stall here and the lovely vendor there handed us some chicken feet. So we asked if we could take some shots, film him a little bit. He was all up for it. But yeah there's a big car coming. <laughs> So yeah, when in Taiwan and you're offered chicken feet, we're gonna try it. That's so right. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's delicious. That's very good, yeah. I've never had this before, so I wasn't sure what to expect, but the skin mm. on that is really sweet and yummy. It reminds me actually of a stewed pork leg dish that I get in Thailand all the time. If you're wondering kind of what that flavor is. It's really good. It's like a honey glazed type mm. of flavor. It's really delicious. Mm. There we go. I got a little bit of the meat there. Mm. I don't mind that at all. I usually am not a big fan of like cartilage and fatty bits. Mm -hmm. um, no, this is good actually. I'm quite surprised. I avoided this for many many years thinking I wouldn't appreciate it but it's delicious. It's very good. It's almost like um, the sweet sausage that you get from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that, but obviously the texture is different, but the flavor is like similar. Like it's got like obviously some herbs and stuff that they cook it down with for hours. And um... You're doing such a better job than I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are so many varieties of food here. How do you choose? Everything looks so good. Got so much crispy stuff. These giant squids, I think. Meat on a stick, ice cream squares, and the one we've been looking for. We've been going up and down the aisles because Linda has heard about this one. It's a mochi stand. Fresh milk mochi. And this specific one, so many people have said it's the best mochi they've ever had. So I love mochi. If you don't know, watch this video. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, they're just setting up, but we're definitely getting that. There's no question about that. This chicken is still hot. The sun has set and the chicken has still kept its temperature. <laughs> so we're still just looking around and we will eat this very soon. It's still hot, but I, I can't take it anymore. I gotta try it. Wish me luck. I did ask for it spicy. So let's see what Taiwan spicy is like. Incredible, oh my gosh. 
One more bite before I get it to you. It's perfect. It's like a perfect fried chicken. Wow. Look how thick that is. That is that is a plump chicken. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh, that chicken, even without the crispy skin, is so delicious. It's so moist. It doesn't look super moist, as chicken breast generally isn't that moist, but there's something about this one, it is like moist right through it. But then that skin, it just has this crunch as soon as you uh, bite into it. It is so, so good. <laughs> so this stall is another one that I believe was recommended. Um, and it's just milk teas. I don't even know if there's um, tapioca or boba in it, but we're gonna try it. He was smiling at us all the way from over there. And there's two kinds that are recommended, um, just milk tea and black milk tea. So I'm gonna get black milk tea. See ya. <laughs> Research, I like mix things up, I feel a little bit, but this was the place I'm pretty sure because it said for every cup they pour a cup of fresh milk into there, and we saw him pour a cup of fresh milk into there from a little glass uh, jar. So I'm so excited for this. It's a black milk tea, it was only 40 uh, new Taiwanese dollar for a small. So we're a bit thirsty. That chicken was hot, and it's just hot in general. We're almost done the chicken. <laughs> But we were like, let's get some drinks going because I don't think this is going to be the only drink we have tonight. Look at the color of it. It's like a classic black milk tea color. Looks just right. Doesn't look too milky. Oh, that's really nice. It's smooth, not too sweet, which I love. Perfect combination with that fried chicken and this black milk tea. Gotta get in on this. This perfect timing because my lips are kind of on fire from this. It really sneaks up on you, this spice. Mm. Whoa. That is so fresh. So refreshing. And they say milk is really good for soothing spice. So the fact that that's spicy and now there's like fresh milk in there, it's like Ooh, ooh, ooh. Perfection. <laughs> it's like a perfect balance of yeah, fresh milk flavor and black tea flavor. This is really, really good. Yum, yum, yum. Go there. <laughs> okay, just for an example of how busy it is now. It is packed. I don't know if you remember what it looked like when we first got here, we had pretty much the place to ourselves, but it's uh, it's gonna get sweaty. I think it's not gonna be as sweaty actually. I think as soon as the sun sets, everybody comes out. That's what it is. Like as soon as the sun sets and our chicken cooled down, it was like, wait, everyone's here now, but I'm glad because now stalls will be open. Yeah. So let's go eat some more. Yeah. So last time we were in Taiwan, we didn't try the stinky tofu and this time we were like, we have to. You know, why wouldn't we? So we got some. The cabbage, the carrot, and the cucumber on it is spicy. But you get a little bit of like a fermented taste to it. But it's good. I like it. Especially if you sop that sauce into it, the hot sauce especially, for the chili hot oil. It's really good. I'll put this in. Like there was so much fear around eating this from how people yeah. talked it up or were like, oh, it's so, you know, difficult to eat, whatever. I'm like, yeah. no, this is great. <laughs> yeah. It took a while to chew to get my thoughts out, but yeah, I'm not upset at all. There is a, a bit of an aftertaste, like, like your breath afterwards is kind of like... What just happened? It, yeah, it, your breath feels the way it smells which is a little bit unpleasant, but the flavor itself, no issues at all. I actually quite enjoyed it. Yeah. I think we're gonna finish this up real quick. Yeah. On to the next.
The mochi place is open now officially. The lights are on. And we need something a little bit sweet again. So it's mochi time. This is so interesting. They've got these big trays of mochi and then they roll it up in the corner here. And then they add a little powdered topping on it. Uh, we got sesame, peanut, milk, and matcha. And there's cocoa, but we didn't really want a powdered one today. So we've had the fried chicken, we've had the black milk tea, we've had the stinky tofu, and now it's mochi time. So I'm gonna try the black sesame mochi. I hope I can have half a bite so John can have the other bite. If not, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I love mochi. So I have been waiting for this. That is the softest, most delicate mochi I've ever had. It's so nice. The black sesame flavor is just on point with the little crumbly bits on top. The mochi itself has some black sesame through it, but it's very subtle. It's a really pretty flavor. I love it. So if anyone knows me, they know I'm a matcha slash green tea girl. So we had to get the matcha one. I'm not sure what the bits are on. Oh, it's coconut. It's like little coconut shavings on the matcha. Here we go. Just a beautiful light matcha flavor with the coconut shavings on top. Lovely. I do think between the two, I like the sesame better. I'm gonna try the peanut mochi. So fun, super delicate, almost melts in your mouth. You still gotta chew it. It's a very, very unique, interesting texture. The peanut is exactly what you think. It, it's almost like a peanut butter or a peanut brittle, but it's just, I think, just crushed up peanut. But that's very good. Very, very light flavor though. Okay, and the milk mochi with coconut, I believe. It looks like a little furry creature. <laughs> like the coconut shavings. Mm. Yeah, this one's my favorite for sure. Yeah, it's got that same texture, a little bit more milky than the other ones, but that coconut flavor is so good. Okay, final verdict on the mochis. Linda's favorite was the sesame, and mine was the milk with the coconut on it. On camera, we were uh, biting them like little bites to try and be civilized, but after... <laughs> to try and share also, because we both wanted right, to try right. each kind. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but as soon as we turned it off, we just did them in kind of one-biters. That's the way to do it. <laughs> it was, the flavor was so much better when we did it that way. So I would recommend just going for it, two or one bite. We're now at that point of the night where we're almost full, but we're still not satisfied. So I'm not, we're... I'm not ready to leave yet, because yeah. it's all so good, but we have to make a decision quickly. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna get to that point where the stomach realizes we're full. I'm like yelling at this point. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we so, know we know we have to end on a bubble tea again. So. Yes. Yeah. We didn't even have bubble tea. We had milk tea. Right. But right. we need something with like more to it. So yeah. off we go. This area has totally come to life now. So there are people playing games. They've got all these little vending machines. <laughs> Dogs everywhere. And then all of a sudden. There are massage stands here. This place has got it all. I love this night market. <laughs> yeah. There's also this aisle that has clothing, jewelry, electronics. So this market really has it all. You can play games, you can shop, you can eat. What else do you need? And it's like nice stuff. And the later in the night that it's getting, right now it's seven o'clock, the more there stores open up. There's free air conditioning uh -oh. <laughs> And there's free air conditioning inside there. So remember that fried chicken that was highly recommended and they were like, you gotta get it. And I was like, I'm gonna get this first thing because I've seen lineups of this place. Well, I'm just gonna walk by what the lineup is like right now. Okay, wait for it, that's where it starts. That's how long the line is and 
the chicken's already in my belly. <laughs> just went to this place right here. It's another one of these must-do foods here in Kaohsiung. It is a scallion pancake. Mm -hmm. Ooh, as soon as it hits your tongue, that is like a burst of flavor. It's oily, it's peppery, a little bit spicy. Can't put my finger on it, but there's something like with the dough, the texture of it, and a little bit in the flavor, it's like a cheesy potato. But there's no cheese or potato, as far as I know, in this. Mm. It's just a dough with scallions. This is really good, way better than I expected. Mm. It's like crispy, thin, the middle's a little bit doughy, but that spice on top is so nice. It's like a Chinese spice mixed with like a, like an instant noodle seasoning spice. It's a very interesting flavor. This is really nice. I've never had something like this before. So I'm quite happy. And this is half a portion. This is so decent for half a portion. It was only 45 new Taiwanese dollar. And I'm so glad we got it. It's the perfect finisher to the savory portion of our little food tour. <laughs> so when we were initially looking up where we wanted to go tonight, we knew we wanted to go to a night market here in Kaohsiung, but we weren't sure which one because there are a few that are recommended. One is the tourist night market, um, but we looked it up. It really didn't look like our thing. When we found this one, it really spoke to us. Everything sounded right, and I am so glad that we came to this one. We for sure made the right choice. So if you're kind of on the fence of which one to go to when you're here in town, definitely I would say this one. Woohoo! Okay, so we were deciding, we were saying we want something fancy, something milk tea with foam and tapioca. And I was looking at the menu on the other side, and then I turned around for a second and the lady was like, oh, come here, look at the menu. And she was just so sweet, like, didn't really speak English, but I'm a sucker for kind and sweet people. So I was like, we're getting two drinks and we're getting it here. <laughs> so we didn't go according to plan at all, but John's been really loving the winter melon milk teas. So that's what he got. And I just got a refreshing winter melon tea and they were so cute. They were so happy about it. So I'm happy about it. All right, last item of the night. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect choice. A little sweeter than I would have liked. I just asked for it how it came, and yours must be perfect for you in that case. Uh huh. <laughs> just sweet enough for me. What an excellent, excellent night market this one is. I think it's up there with one of my favorites. For sure. It's just so different than what we're used to, and like, I don't know, I kind of really had fun that there wasn't a ton of English, and we had to yes. kind of yeah. figure out what to get, and like, that was like an adventure of its own, but yeah. yeah highly recommend. If you've enjoyed watching us kind of explore and eat, there's lots more Taiwan content coming. Please do subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye. They're handing out samples for this place over here. It's an orange, what is it? Orange lemonade? I had wintergreen tea. Yeah.